Fire City. New at 6, crooks steal an Army soldier's truck on a visit to Metro Detroit. It just means something to us. I mean, with him being sick, that's what the big thing is. It's because it's his, and he's not going to be here long. Big swings on the temps this weekend. We'll let you know if there's going to be some snow as well. It's a sizable sinkhole putting the lives of more than 100 seniors at risk. Action News goes to work to find out why it's taking so long to fix. This is breaking news from the 7 Action Newsroom. We begin with breaking news. GM recalling thousands more vehicles over those ignition switches. Let's get right to 7 investigator Ross Jones live in the newsroom tonight with the details. Ross? Heather Steven, the GM recall just got a whole lot bigger. In addition to the 1.6 million vehicles already recalled by the company for faulty ignitions, just minutes ago the company announced another 824,000 cars will also be recalled for the same defect. The recall that was just announced minutes ago includes vehicles already covered by the initial recall from last month, but now extends to model years as recent as 2011. Here's what it means for you. GM says it needs to replace the ignition switches for every single one of its Chevy Cobalts and HHRs, Pontiac G5s and Solstices, and Saturn Ions and Skies. This brings the total number of recalled vehicles up to more than 2.4 million vehicles. Now, just as with the earlier recall that GM announced, it says the problem here is ignition switches that can switch from the run position to accessory or off. That causes the engine to shut down and turns off airbags and anti-lock brakes. The company says the vehicles are safe as long as you don't have anything on your key ring. Now, this news comes today as GM also told its dealers to stop selling a certain model of the Chevy Cruze. In an urgent memo we obtained, they told dealers to stop selling the 2013 model year Chevy Cruzes with 1.4 liter turbo engines. Now, GM didn't say why and wouldn't say what may be wrong with the vehicles. We will, of course, stay on top of this breaking story and bring you the latest as developments come to us. From the newsroom tonight, I'm Ross Jones, 7 Action News. All right. All right. Thanks, Ross. And Mary Barra will testify in Washington next Tuesday and Wednesday, and 7 Action News will be there. Beginning Monday, investigator Ross Jones will be live in our nation's capital to cover Barra's testimony and talk with the congr congressional leaders who are looking in to the GM recall. And that GM recall keeps growing there, so a lot to talk about next week.